Hello YouTube, how's it going? Macman here and today I've got another application review. Um, I've been having some troubles reviewing or finding, sorry, applications because there seems like I'm running out. Um, but I found one and it's a pretty cool application. Um, I just, actually, I just downloaded it today and it's quite useful. Um, but this application is called Drag Thing. Um, it is a paid application. I believe it's $29, but I will have a serial um, number in the description for you. Pretty much, you just go to the website, you download it, and then once you close it or reopen it, it's going to ask for a serial number, and uh, you're just going to paste in the serial number that I will provide for you. But anyways, what this application does is it pretty much allows you to have these nice little folders to the side of your screen. As you can see, I have one with apps, um, just apps that I don't really want in my dock. Um, but I do want showing. So I got uh, Twitter, ScreenFlow, Safari, Quick Note, Google Chrome. To open one, all you have to do is just hit um, on any application. So if I wanted to open up Quick Note or Safari, I would just click, or I'll open up Twitter for now. And as you can see, it opens up Twitter just like that. Um, so I'll get right into the preferences. Um, so we'll go in here, actually. Yeah, I'm going to have to find the application. Um, I'll show you what the icon looks like. It's right here. Oh, there's no icon yet because I have recently downloaded it. Um, ah, it's not letting. Oh, here we go. All right, preferences. So this is the preferences. There are a ton of preferences. I haven't even read all of them, and it's, it's kind of overwhelming and confusing at the beginning. Um, but you kind of get the hang of it. Here you have your general... Um, just kind of like the main stuff. You can have hot spots, so if you drag your uh, mouse into the corner of the screen, um, the windows will pop up. Uh, you have some startups, like open it automatically on the startup, and stuff like that. Then you have appearance, where you can change the themes. Um, as you can see, these are the different themes. Mine is currently on um, Heads Up. Um, I think that's a pretty nice one. And you've got some other nice ones. I was using this one earlier today. Um, you can also get more themes, and yeah, there's some other options that you can fool around with here. I'm not going to get too in detailed. Then here are the different docs. This part's kind of confusing. Um, so I'm using the process doc right now, which is this. Um, then there's also a disk doc. A disk doc. Um, I'm not too sure what all these docs do. Um, I'm just going to close that one. I'm mostly just using process doc and then you can add applications by hitting edit list of permanent applications and then you just hit the plus sign and you add whatever application you would like. So I'm just going to close that for now. And you also have a window doc. Um, I think that just shows you um, what's open right now. And yeah, so you can fool around with those. Um, you also have some items. I'm not too sure what this does. I haven't been um, in here much. Uh, let's see, delay before switching tabs. That might be opening it. I'm not too sure. Uh, maximizing. Yeah, as you can see, there's a big delay. All right. So if I were to drag that down, uh, very little delay. Um, yeah, right there. So that's pretty nice. Um, you can mess around with that. You have some colors you can fool around with, some textures, sounds. This is a pretty neat feature. Um, as you can hear, if I were to open it and close it, um, you'll hear some clicks and keyboard sounds. Um, to do that, I just hit use drag thing sound, drag thing sounds. Then I went to dock maximized, and for I changed it so when I open it, it has a click sound, and when I close it, it has a keyboard sound. Um, so that's nice. And then you can also change it so when you click on an application, um, you'll hear a sound too. Um, then you have some hotkeys, which just, you can open it quickly without dragging your mouse over there. Then you have your trash. Um, you can have a trash on your screen. I don't know why you would if you have a trash can right there. If you're confused, just don't listen to me right now. Uh, you also got some software updates. Um, you can make it so it checks automatically, but I'll just leave it like that. And then you have some advanced settings. Um, there's a lot of settings here. Um, you can mess around with them. I'm not going to go too in detail. I'll try to keep this short, but you can just read them through. Um, if you don't get it, just try them out, uh, see what they do. And that's pretty much it. So that's a really nice, nice and neat application that you can have, um, in case you don't want some stuff in your dock, you can just keep it here.
and yeah really really easy to access and yeah so that's pretty much it guys i gotta go get the phone um so please rate comment subscribe don't forget to follow me on twitter and i will see you guys next time peace